Hey, it's Jake Mace with phoenixlongevityarts.com. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an inside track today on my kicking routine. So we're gonna do a little bit of a kicking conditioning workout. And um, I'm just here by myself today and my wife Pam. Give her a thanks in the comments for filming as usual. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit the like button for us and give us a comment, start a dialogue about kicks. And let's improve the world one video at a time, one comment at a time, and make everybody a better kicker. Kicking, if you're not even a fighter, is one of the best things you can do for building explosive athleticism, but also for building stomach strength if you hate sit-ups. It's good for cardio if you hate running, and it's also a lot of fun. So when I do my kicking practice, I start with the straight kicks, and I always, 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 except sometimes, but always, I do straight kicks to start. You cannot go and just explosively start to do side kicks and front snap kicks and hit the bag, you're gonna throw yourself out. Plus, your body will just get tight and you'll be like, why am I not more flexible? Well, probably because you're doing the wrong kind of kicks first. So here's the kicks I do to warm up. Straight kicks first. Always on both legs. Outside smashes, okay, or outside kicks. For all you guys who call the kicks different names, it doesn't matter what you call it. I call outside smash, outside crescent kick, outside kick, potato, potato, potato. Leg 10. Blade kicks, which is going to work our side kick kicking motion. Inside, inside smashes, all right? When we do these smashes for the inside, I never do one leg at once because it puts too much torque on my bottom knee. I do one and the other and I walk a line. Here's what I mean. When I turn going back. After that, I do reverse heel kicks to get the front of my hip. Ha ha ha, Jake Mace is out of breath. Well, if you guys were kicking, you'd be out of breath too. And I always kick, never half-assed, never halfway. I give it all I got. Part of the way I get most flexibility out of my workout is I give it all I've got. I don't have time to fool around. I'm teaching 20 to 40 hours a week of classes. I'm doing videos for you guys. I'm doing a lot of things. When I actually get to my workout, I have to make it as power packed as I can. Other leg, swing that heel up. So it's Sunday morning, I got a one hour break, then I go teach a class. It's a free Tai Chi class for the community. So if you're in Tempe, come do Tai Chi with us. We run off donations. Once I do all those straight kicks, I then start doing stances back and forth. Left, this low, 
right, no hands. Left, right, left, right. Then reverse stances, back on the heel. Other way, no hands, using that full range of motion. Up, down, up, down. In crossovers, hug the leg back. This knee pops out the hole. This way, back. Jump the other side, go back. Four, five, come on guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I usually do about two or three sets of this. After we're done with the straight kicks, let's now start doing some explosive kicks. I'll start off doing one set to the air, one set to the bag. So we're gonna do roundhouse kicks to the air for a set. Look at my pivot. Pivot that foot. Other leg, get that pivot going. I'll do a set of 10 to the bag. Notice on the kicks to the air, I was pulling my toes back to expose the ball of my foot. If I had the option to kick you, I would love to use the ball of my foot right to your guys' faces. And if I did that, it'd be like a fist hitting you. But most of the time, you have more potential to actually hit somebody to use the shin or the top of the foot. So when I hit the bag, I point the toes and I use the shoelaces part of the foot. Pivoting the foot out, coming into it. The other leg, same thing. Hip pivot on the roundhouse kick is the key. Next, I'm gonna throw about five or 10 side kicks or side thrusts to the air to get my rhythm going and my flexibility going. The other leg. <sighs> yeah, take him out. <sighs> then I'll do about five or ten to the bag. You guys get to enjoy the lovely garden in the background. Take note. One of the secrets of my flexibility are those big dark green guys, it's tree kale, six foot tall kale plants, and the leaves are the size of my torso. So I'll be eating that after my kicking practice for my extreme nutrition program. 10 side kicks to the bag. Other leg. One guy I like a lot to watch for side kicks and all kicks is Kung Lee. Kung Lee is the man. Go look him up. K her C U N G L E. Kung Lee. 
I wouldn't want to be kicked by him. Then I might do some snap kicks with a partner and uh, to the mitts. So I have nobody with me. I'm so lonely today. I'm gonna go back and finish with one more set of straight kicks. But a shorter set, just about five straight kicks first. Outside smash. One, two, three, four, five. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five. What else we got? Blade kicks. It's also a good movie, Blade. Straight up. Leg straight, use your hip. Try to keep your posture as straight as you can. You can lean back, but keep the spine and neck and head connected. Other one. The only thing I'll do at the end when I'm warmed up, I'll do some leg holds. I like the side kick hold because it builds my dynamic strength. <sighs> Hands up. That's 10, 10 more. That's 20. Other leg, same thing. Hands out. Ten, ten more. Okay. There you go, guys. Repeat this set five times or so, and you'll be on your way to being the kicking master. I'll see you guys next time.